Night cleaning up after these historic floods in western Massachusetts. The town of Williamsburg was one of the hardest hit, and today Governor Maura Healy came out to see the damage firsthand. WBZ's Beth Tremato is live for us in Williamsburg tonight. And Beth, how are residents recovering at this point? Well, adding insult to injury, we just had some showers move through the area this afternoon, and the concern is there'll be more rain in the coming days. Behind me, you can see the Mill River, which rose so quickly Monday morning, it devastated properties in its path, and now Governor Healy is promising help. How are things right now? Things, things are getting better. Governor Mara Healy talking with first responders in Williamsburg, who are now assessing the damage to the town from collapsed driveways to eroded foundations to devastated farm fields to closed bridges. That all sit by the Mill River, which rose faster on Monday than anyone anticipated. Like a literal flash flood, it went from zero to 180 in about, I don't know, 25 minutes. Trapping Nan Hill and her husband inside their Ashfield Road home. As she points to how the water rose in a matter of minutes, first responders arriving with a dinghy to help them out. How frightening to be inside your home surrounded by water like that. Pretty scary. Yeah, pretty scary. Neighbor Ernie Zurok cleaning up the mud and muck the rising water brought around and inside his home. Talk about the force of the water to shove that all up against yeah. your lattice. I mean, those are cast iron lawn chairs, so, you know, it was moving. The house designed so water can flow beneath it, not through it. The small western Massachusetts town, one of nearly a dozen that declared a local state of emergency. <laughs> Governor Healy pledging help from the state. I'm going to do everything I can to make sure that we're maximizing uh, dollars that we can use towards recovery and mitigation for residents and for businesses here in western Massachusetts. It came up probably in a half an hour. This is the nearly four feet of water that devastated a part of David Nearing's Valley View Farm in Williamsburg. Years spent clearing to make way for planting now washed away, and it will take time to recover what's been lost. There's nothing you can do. You, you, you're at Mother Nature's whim. There's no stopping it. Now, residents say the difference between this flooding and the flooding from Hurricane Irene several years ago is how quickly it rose with little anticipation. The deputy fire chief tells me this is a lot to absorb for a small community with a local budget that can't really handle the damage. Reporting live from Williamsburg, I'm Beth Germano, WBZ News.